Hello, praise the Lord. I greet you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is Reverend Juliet, a minister in Bali Diocese. I am blessed to share the word of God with us this day. It is in interesting to note that uh, God has a lot of things that pertains our lives. Uh, this time around, I want to share with us the prayer our Lord Jesus Christ shared told his disciples in Matthew chapter 6 verse 10. The Bible says the disciples asked Jesus, how should we pray? One statement he said, let it be done on earth as it is in heaven. It's a wonder to understand that heavenly things are already set. Heaven is already set. Heaven is already perfected. And we as men and women of God, we are supposed to invoke what is already done so that it is done on the earth. Brethren, we need to understand that our task as believers is to ensure that what God has already done, whatever pertains to me, whatever concerns you, Lord, Lord, the God has already done it. And that's why the Bible says, pray without ceasing. Our task is to ensure that what is already done in heaven, because the Bible says in Isaiah chapter 46, it says that it is God who knows our end from the beginning. He knows our beginning from the end. And so ours is to ensure that we fall into this track of, the, of events. God has established a plan for us. He knows your beginning from the end. Your plan is already complete. Whatever concerns you has already been perfected. That's why the Bible says in Jeremiah chapter 9 verse 23, that let not the wise boast in your wisdom, not even the mighty in your strength, not even the rich in your riches. Why? When you boast in these three things, you are diverting the working of the Lord in your life. You just need to know that God has already said it. When you do this, it is a, it's like you're saying you are able. You are not able. You just need to fall into the steps of the Lord. That's why the Bible says the God orders the steps of the righteous. Ours is to simply understand that whatever concerns your life is already set and it is your duty to ensure that you walk in the ways of the Lord. That's why we need to pray. That's why we need the word of God. Jeremiah says, do not boast in these things. Three things God detests. Your own power, your own strength, your own riches. And remember, these are the things that the world is out looking for. It is not about that. And he says in verse 10, but let whoever boasts know that I am a God who delights in loving kindness, righteousness, and justice. I'll speak about the first thing. God delights in love. Many promises are found in the Bible, but the greatest of them all fall into the people who love God. There is a secret in love. I can imagine it is one of the ways of invoking God's working in our lives and in our circumstances. For instance, the Bible says in Psalms 91 verse 14, it says, Because he has set his love on me, I will give him a long life. Romans 8.20 says that everything works for the good of those who love the Lord. What no eye has seen, what no ear has heard, what no mind has perceived, the Lord has kept for those who love. There is a special place for men and women who love. And as we love God, we are part putting ourselves in the same pattern with the creator of the universe. Because our God delights in Loving kindness. And that is one of the things that is lacking in our generation. We need to get back to the roots of love. We need to get back to the ways. And actually when we love God, not many times we think we love God. But he says in John, 1 John chapter 5 that we cannot love God unless we love other people. These are the things we are seeing now. I am imagining in my, when I was doing this study, when God, when, when I learned that, Whatever I need is already set in heaven. Mine is just to follow suit, to invoke it, to ensure that it comes to me. I realized that what God has done, it is I, I can't I don't have authority over it. I just need to submit. When I when we submit to God, we are able to receive from his hand. Because what God has done is not very far from us. Remember the story of Haggai. 
the Bible says the woman was stranded in the desert with his son. He didn't, he didn't know what to do. The Bible says she went and put her son very far and said, I can't look at this boy dying. Let him die in, out of my sight. But the Bible says as the son was crying, the mother was crying. The angel of the Lord came and said, we have heard the, the Lord has heard your cry. And he told, he told, he opened her eyes. The Bible says he saw the well. Men and women of God, whatever we need in our lives is just besides us. It is not far from us. Actually, Moses says in Deuteronomy 30 that what, I want, what the Lord wants you to do is not far from you. It's just in your mouth. Whatever we need, whatever God has done is not far. Is near us. When Hagar looks aside, there is a well of water. Men and women of God, whatever we need our, in our lives is not very far from us. It is just an instruction away. It is just a vision away. It is just an obedience away. And we can find all this in prayer and in the word of the Lord. The Bible says in Proverbs 24 verse 2 that it is the glory of God to conceal a thing, but it is an honor of the king to search out a matter. So our task as believers is to, to search out what God has promised, what God has done. We are not inventing anything new. No, all things have already been set in place. Your, your task, your, your work is just to find out, search out a matter. That's why we need to throw ourselves in the things of God. We need to throw ourselves in prayer. We need to throw ourselves in the word of God. What Paul tells, tells Timothy, that throw yourself in these things. Immerse yourself in these things. The things of God are already said. It is already done in heaven, so let it be done on earth. That is why I need to pray this uh, at a time like this, that may what God has done already in heaven be done in your life, be done in our churches, be done in our ministries, be done in our daily lives. And I'm sure that is what God likes us to walk in, that we may do the things in our lives as they are in heaven. We may come in conformity with what God wants us to do. Men and women of God, whatever we need, they are not very far from us. They are already set in heaven. Heaven has been perfected. The Bible says in Psalms 138 verse 8 that the Lord will perfect all that concerns you. Why? Because he has already done it. Ours is just to fall in, in love. Ours is just to fall into the same pattern with what God has already done. When we do this, there will be testimonies. When we do this, we shall have new songs. When we do this, you shall have a smile. We shall testify of the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. That is why when the disciples were had to fish the whole night. No fish. Jesus appears. And he says, have you got anything, children? They say, no. He says, no. Launch deep. He said, but we had tried it all. Says, do it. And when they obeyed, the Bible says, they could not bring out the net. It was full of fish. Why? What God has prepared is already done. Do not stress yourself. Let's get away from worry, from anxiety. It is a very important thing for you and me to know that what I need in my life, what pertains in my lifetime, God has already done it. My role is to get into Submission is to conform the working of Jehovah God. What you will get out of it will surprise you, will surprise the world. The Bible says when they pray and they look for water and there is none, he says I will open over the rivers in high places. God has already said I will make fountains in the valleys. He says I will make springs in dry lands. That is already God is setting. Men and women of God, we better raise our faith to know that God has already done it. And when he has done it, we just need to fall in what God has done and we shall testify of the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. May God bless you. May the Lord do you good as you believe God, as you are aware. Don't be ignorant. God has done it. Yours is a simple task. Believe him. Follow him. Just obey him and trust him. It will be done in the name of the Lord. God bless you and have a great time as you minister to the Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. <music>